Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about online dating advice, okay? So when it comes to online dating, um, the best advice that I have when it comes to your profile, your pictures and things like that, is that you should have a good different range of, of photos, right? So, because that's the first thing that people are going to look at. They're going to look at your, um, your photos and see what you look like. So it's good that you it's it's a good idea to leave a good first impression, but it's also good not to just have, you know, boring photos, right? So the first photo should be under kind of normal sort of standard, boring photo of just your face, right? It's not a, it doesn't have to be a selfie because sometimes selfies look a bit sort of like a bit meh. It could be like a photo that one of your photographer friends took of you or something like that, um, but it should be you should be able to see your face very clearly and um, you know your shoulders at least right sometimes it's good to do a full body shot of you just like standing somewhere or something like that so people can tell what your body shape is and um, that might be a good idea as well but you should be able to see your face very clearly some other photos that you may want to sprinkle in there is one where you look kind of proud like with an achievement it could be like with your brand new car it could be of when you graduated it could be um, when you like finished a race or something like that show off some kind of accomplishment Another photo should be of you with some friends, so you've got some social proof. Um, so it looks like you haven't, you know, you have a sort of like a a good social life, right? So it could be with you with a couple of your friends or something like that. That should be a good one. Um, it could be when you're out, perhaps you went on holiday with some friends recently, or perhaps um, it was just when you met up at a park or something like that, and you were just hanging out. Um, or it could be like when you went to a club or a bar or something, or you was hanging at a friend's house or something like that. So a picture with you and some friends is also a good one. Um, another picture might be of you doing something interesting. Like it could be like when you did a skydive, um, or it could be um, when you was on, you know, swimming on holiday or something like that. Um, or it could be you with, um, you know, an animal, um, you know, like your pet or something like that. So something where you're, you know, you're kind of doing something a little bit interesting that shows a, a little bit about your personality. Um, so that's a good idea, like having photos like that. Um, so you've got them sprinkled up. But again, your first photo should be just of you. You shouldn't have every photo on your social media on your dating um, profile as like you with other people because they're going to be trying to figure out who 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 are you in these photos so you've got to make sure that you have a very distinguished photo also make sure that um it as your first photo so you want to also make sure as well that this is a good clear photo and it's one that's relatively recent so one that was taken in the last year right because so much can happen to us and we can change so much within a year um well uh, over the course of the year so you don't want to be putting up a profile picture that was taken five years ago or three years ago it should be a picture of you recently right because otherwise when they meet up with you they're going to think that oh but you looked five years younger in that photo how come you look a bit older now <laughs> right they're going to be a little bit confused they might not say that to you but they may be thinking that okay and you want to be honest about your photos as well right if you do have a little bit of weight extra weight on you you got to include that in your photo i'm afraid right you want to be honest right because some people i i mean i really don't like dishonesty so if i went out on a date with someone i wouldn't obviously now because i'm married but again like if i ever went on a date with someone in the past and they didn't look like what they did in their profile picture i wouldn't want to hang out with them i wouldn't want to continue dating them so let's say um, I saw a picture of someone and they were super slim and then I go out and meet with them and they're actually obese, right? That shows to me that that person isn't honest, right? They're being dishonest. Now it's not, but it, maybe I would have gone on a date with them if they had been more honest in their photo, right? If they had been, if they'd said, if they, you could see that they were overweight or something like that. To me, that doesn't matter to me too much anyway, right? I'm not saying that I would never date someone who's a bit overweight, right? Because that's not true. I have in the past dated people that who were a little bit overweight, right? So that doesn't, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that that kind of thing would bother me or it should bother you, but you should make sure that your picture is an honest representation of who you are, right? Because they, but other people won't like it. They'll think that you're being dishonest and that you're hiding who you are. And that's not good. You're lying, essentially. If you post a picture of you that was 10 years ago where you look super slim, when now you, you know, you've got a bit more weight on you, right? You can't be dishonest like that. Okay, 
so it doesn't mean that the photo has to be unflattering or something like that and you can see your double chins or whatever whatever it may be right right you're obviously making sure it's a good photo representing you making you look good right um but also simultaneously it should it should be honest as well right okay so that's some of my uh, thoughts on photos and things like that and what you should have as photos when it comes to your what it says in your bio you should put in there what you're looking for right what kind of woman or man that you're looking for right you should put that in there um so you could be say you could say something like oh i'm looking for someone who is really fun and outgoing um i'm looking for someone who um you know uh, likes the same things that i do and then go into things some of the things that you like right so you want to put something in there a little bit about what you're looking for in terms of uh your the partner that you're trying to find and also you should have some things in there about yourself but don't be too don't give too much information away you don't want to write paragraphs and paragraphs i think a paragraph or maybe like a and a half max it should be what you put in there because a lot of people don't want to keep on reading pages and pages of who you are they just want to you know a quick little overview to see if you know you're a good fit so you want to put in there some of the things that you like some of the things that you dislike um and don't just put message me or something like that because a lot of people are just gonna swipe by you basically if they don't if they if you don't put a little bit of information a little bit of effort into what you've said okay and also you don't want to give too much away you want to keep some things a little bit mysterious and things like that okay so that's my my advice on dating profiles so when you start messaging someone and you get your first matches and whatnot um what you should be focusing on basically is having a little conversation perhaps getting their instagram or their um their facebook information right so you can check to see if this person is who they say they are to check if this is an act- actually a real person because a lot of people can hide who they are on the internet right and you have to be really careful about who you're meeting online basically in person right so you need to make sure that this person is who they say they are and then as soon as you can basically you want to arrange a date with them don't chit chat with them online for too long right just a few messages back and forth you know maybe about six or seven and then say hey you know what i think you sound really good you sound really cool you sound really interesting i'd really love to meet up with you when are you free okay so how that went down with me and my wife because me and my wife met each other online is we matched and when we matched I sent her a message, I, I mentioned something about her name, I said, oh, you, you have like a really nice name or something like that, and then she said the same thing about me, um, and then we had a tiny conversation about how have you been, how are you, how are you doing, that sort of thing, and um, then I asked for her Facebook det- details, I asked for her, f- her name, basically, so I could add her on Facebook, I said, what's your name, I'd like to add you on Facebook, if that's okay, and she was like, yeah, that's fine, she gave me her name, I added her, and then I started messaging her on Facebook, and you know we sent a couple of messages again back and forth and then i asked her out and all of this happened in the space of one evening okay now of course some people you know you may message and you may not hear back from them the ne- until the next day and things like that um but i was quite fortunate in the fact that she messaged me back quite quite soon um so i was able to set up a date with her that evening right so that's what I was able to do and I think I set up the date I think we we matched on like a Monday and then I set up the date for that Saturday um and then basically the rest is history in that in that sort of regard okay so so that's what you want to do you don't want to be chatting online for days and days and days and not having things go anywhere just ask them out ask them when they're available you're on a dating website right that's the whole point of it right To, to meet up with people right so get yourself that date arranged to make a date with them you could just say something simple like hey i think you're really cool yeah you sound really interesting how about um we meet up um when are you available to hang out right and then you create a date and by that i mean a time a place and a day right so it could be seven o'clock in the evening on saturday right that's something like that right Um, You may want to have a few places in mind that you'd like to meet them at. So, for example, you may know a few restaurants that you like to go to or a few places for a drink that you'd like to go to that you know are good in the area. 
and 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 you know have a few of those back you know in the back of your mind so you're not just thinking oh where do you want to go where do you want to go where do you want and you have that sort of back and forth that goes on for ages of like deciding where to go just make a decision to say how about we meet at this place how about we meet at meet at joe's bar at one two three street right how about that do right and then then they'll say yeah sounds good or they will say no because perhaps they don't like that place and then you just say okay how about this place instead then right just be decisive get on with it get the ball rolling basically okay so what's cool about that as well is that you're going to find out basically how interested this person is if this person is interested in you they will show up to that date they will be there okay if the person is sort of umming and ahhing about it unsure perhaps they're a bit flaky perhaps um they're not really being that serious when it comes to the dating apps then they'll probably cancel or they'll mess around with the plans or something like that last minute or something um but what you need to remember about rescheduling and and things like that is if someone is interested in you they won't just cancel on you they will offer you an alternative so for example if they do message you and say look sorry i really can't make tomorrow that might not be the end of the world if they say okay yeah but i can meet you on sunday instead i can meet you not at five o'clock but i can meet you at eight o'clock right if they offer an alternative that's great that's still a sign that things are going well and they're still interested basically okay so um another another video that i'm going to be creating um and it's going to be scheduled in a couple of days um is um first dating uh, a first date tips right so please go and watch that one as well because that will really help with that it'll be out in a couple of days um so that will help with first date if you're wondering how to make a first date really good and you know tr- if you to try and get out basically of that date what you want from him okay so so just to end off just quickly on like the whole catfishing thing and stuff like that and making sure people are who they say they are um what you'll be able to discover is if you do get their facebook details or instagram details you'll be able to tell you'll be able to see basically things that they've been tagged in by friends that's a good sign that this person is in a catfish they'll have more than just one photo of themselves you know so either they've got um you know photos that they've been tagged in by their friends and family or things that they've been sort of tagged in like they've like check-ins or something like that um those are those are the things that you need to look out for to make sure the person isn't a catfish and they are who they say they are right because usually people give that kind of you know there's there's that information online these days and it's usually very rare that you don't you find someone who is genuine but doesn't have that information on there right so you make sure that they've got that their photo like i think one of the big signs someone's a catfish is if their photo is just like a sunset or something and they don't have any photos and they've only got like six friends or something like that on facebook or on instagram or something like that but if they've got like a couple of hundred you know or like 50 to 100 that's more of a better indication that this person is who they say they are especially if they've been um tagged in different things but also you want to be careful trust your instincts sometimes you'll be able to tell if someone is being dishonest in some way so if you are doing online dating just be very very careful and make sure you always tell someone else where you are going when you are going to meet someone who you've met online so they know where you are so it's a good idea to tell that trusted friend or family member the place the time that you're meeting them and who you are meeting okay just to be safe so that's my disclaimer here so thank you so much for watching and i shall talk to you again very soon and if you would like to get in touch with me personally then please go to www.christineloverage.com and yeah talk, talk to you again very soon goodbye guys <laughs>